Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Zinyu BM800 condenser microphone. Now, just a bit of context before we actually jump into the video. I've had this mic for nearly a year now and I've been using it for pretty much every single day from YouTube videos uh, to streaming to playing games with my friends and talking on Discord and game chat and stuff like that. We're going to talk about the build quality and the audio quality so you guys can get as much value out of this video as you possibly can. So with all that being said, let's jump straight into it. So before we talk about the audio and build quality, I just want to show you guys my setup for it. Here we have the actual mic of course and then it comes with this arm for you to attach to your desk. I've got my one hooked up to the side here. And yeah, it's really, really simple to set up. Just wanted to show you guys that before we jump properly into the video. Okay, so let's talk about build quality now. For a mic that's priced at only £45 or £39 if you're an Amazon Prime member. And by the way, if you do want to buy this mic, there'll be a link for it in the description. Just make sure you click that. It helps me and it doesn't cost anything for you guys. Anyways, moving on. So, like I was saying about the build quality, for a mic that's priced at only £40, £45, sorry. It is actually really, really good. I honestly have not had any issues with it. It's super, super sturdy. This little like hairband things it comes with keeps the mic in place. It comes with this dust cover and it also does come with a pop filter which I don't use and it is packed away somewhere in my storage cupboard so I'm not about to rummage through there to get it out because it's crazy in there. Uh, but the pop filter as well is actually really good quality. It just attaches onto the um, mic arm like a normal one does. So for the build quality there's not too much I can say other than that it's actually pretty good for a mic set at the price range it is at. I mean it is a budget mic after all so do not expect it to be the same build quality as something that's going to cost you hundreds because it's not obviously going to live up to that expectation but for the price it's at the build quality is actually pretty nice now let's move on to the thing i'm sure you guys are all coming for in the first place that is the audio quality that is the big one now like i said in the beginning of the video i've been using this mic literally every single day for voice chat on discord and game chat uh for recording my youtube videos and streaming um, so I've had a lot of experience with the audio and editing audio and stuff like that. I'm not an audio expert, I don't claim to be an audio expert, but when it comes to this mic I've had a lot of time to play around with it and really get into what this mic is capable of. And so one thing I've got to tell you guys from the start, because I watched a bunch of videos like the one you're probably watching right now, is that if you're not editing your audio in like Premiere Pro or whatever other editing software you use, it's not going to sound the greatest straight out of the mic. No cap, 100% honesty. I'm not trying to sell this thing to you guys for you to be disappointed. I want to tell you exactly how it is. It does pick up a significant amount of noise, so you are going to need to use noise cancelling software. But the built-in noise cancelling software for Microsoft computers does cut out quite a lot of it. So if you are just using it for voice chat and stuff like that, you can just make sure you've got noise suppression turned on and it pretty much eliminates it. However, if you're using this mic to record videos and stream, then it's a completely different ballgame. Now, when it comes to streaming, I'm going to say right now from the bat, this is not the mic for you. It just is not. Because the noise suppression software that you're going to download is not going to be good enough to take the noise out of this mic for when you're streaming. I've streamed this mic loads of times and every single time, no matter what software I use, and no matter even if I use the noise suppression that's built into Windows, the audio just does not sound great. You've always got that noise constantly going in the background, which viewers do not really want to listen to when they're watching your live stream. And that is one of the main reasons why I don't actually live stream that much. So that's live streaming out the way. If you're looking to live stream, this isn't the mic for you. You are probably going to want to spend a little bit more to get a better mic or i haven't really looked around there might be mics that are way better than this one for 45 pounds you need to shop around and really look at reviews however when it comes to youtube videos which is something i do pretty much every single day this mic actually might be the one for you all my gameplay videos and anything that requires me recording in the computer i use this mic right here to record my voice so right now you're listening to the audio that's coming out of my road mic set up on my camera which also isn't the best mic um, it's a cheaper road mic, not one of the expensive nice ones. Uh, something I need to invest in a lot actually I think is the audio quality to make these videos a lot better. But for now this one has to do. So we're going to compare the audio quality from the road mic on the camera to the Zinyu BM800 mic that's set up on my computer. And I want to show you guys exactly how this audio sounds completely unedited with noise suppression on Windows turned off. And then I'll show you guys again how it sounds with noise suppression on and with some editing done in Premiere Pro. Okay, so the audio you're currently listening to is coming out of the Rode mic on my camera. I'm about to switch over to the microphone on my PC so you guys can see exactly how that sounds. Now this is going to be the raw unedited version, noise suppression turned off, it's just coming straight out of the mic. And now you guys can tell me exactly what you think of this. Okay, and we have now switched over to the audio on my PC, I've turned noise suppression off. There is absolutely no editing done to this audio and this is the audio that's coming straight out of the Zinyu BM800 microphone. Now, don't let this put you off straight away because I'm going to turn my expression off and I'm going to edit the audio in Premiere Pro so you guys can see exactly what it sounds like. If you're making YouTube videos and stuff like that, it's not that bad. 
Okay, so we have turned noise suppression on, and this audio that you listen to right now has been edited in Premiere Pro. Uh, so hopefully it should sound a bit better. You can't get it to sound obviously like a podcast mic because it is not that expensive. Those mics that people use for podcasts cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Uh, but it does sound pretty good for a mic, like I said, that's priced at only £45. Pounds. Um, and yeah, this is the mic I use for my YouTube videos, and it served me justice for now. I wouldn't recommend investing in these mics that cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds when you're just starting off your YouTube journey or if you just want to use it to play games online. It's really, really not necessary to spend that much money, which is why I do recommend this mic for people that want to start off a YouTube channel. Okay, we've switched back to the audio on my camera now. And you guys let me know what you think. What do you think of this mic? Do you like it? Do you like the sound quality? Because it does completely depend on you. Because if you're going to go out and purchase this mic, you want to make sure you like it and it sounds good to you. Like I said before, I recommend buying a mic around this price point. If you're just starting out your YouTube journey and you haven't got the funds to buy something more expensive, I wouldn't stress over it too much until you can gather up the money to buy a better mic. Of course, in the future, I'm gonna buy a better mic than this. I'm not saying this is the mic you're gonna buy and keep forever, nor at all, but it is a great starter mic. It is good to get a condenser mic like this so you can properly edit your audio and get to grips with it before you decide to upgrade to a better one. A couple of more handy tips for you guys if you wanna make the audio that comes out of this that much better. I would highly recommend buying a phantom power source for it, which I'll also leave a link for in the description. I'm also gonna show you guys what it looks like in just a second. So what the phantom power source does is, basically it's an independent power source that is powering your mic. So what it does is it plugs into a power outlet, your mic then plugs into that, and then you have a wire running from that into your PC. So the mic's not running directly from the PC, rather it's running into the phantom power source which is powering the condenser mic giving you slightly better audio quality and then it's running into the pc from there and i'm going to show you guys what the phantom power supply looks like and here we have the newer phantom power supply which is powering my mic so basically what we do is we have this wire here that runs all the way up there and down and then into the back of this and then we've got another one plugged into it which runs down underneath my desk and into my pc and then all you'll do is switch it on from here this blue light will come on and you should be getting power to your mic. This is something I would actually recommend if you're trying to get that sound just a little bit better. These cost around 10 or 15 pounds. I'm not too sure, but I'll leave a link for it in the description if you guys do want to check that out. And to end off the video, we are using the Zinu BM800 microphone, completely edited audio. I hope you guys did find this video helpful and it helps you to make a decision whether you want to buy this mic or you want to continue looking or get something a bit more expensive. Like I said before, Personally, I really, really like this mic and I don't intend on changing it anytime soon until I have a couple hundred just laying around and then I'll buy a new mic. But for now, it does me justice. It allows me to record my YouTube videos. And if you are just trying to start up a YouTube channel or doing voiceovers or making content for other platforms outside of streaming, then I would definitely recommend this microphone. So if you guys did find any value in this video, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I upload content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.